Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, you guys. So today I get to play in this beautiful new palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It's called America's Parks. And this is what this beauty looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. So let me just read what it says here online. It says, welcome to the magnificent national parks, rich and bountiful. 15 eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments for majestic color payoff. Seven gleaming shimmers, six blooming mattes, and two shifting metallics, all inspired by the lands of America the Beautiful. Infused with jojoba oil for smooth and long-wearing color, cruelty-free and vegan, 100% plastic-free. And they also support the National Parks Foundation. So this is the look that I created today using this palette. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the shade I'm starting out with is going to be this dark green matte shade. And I'm just taking this on the first half of my crease. Now, you guys, the pigmentation on this shade was crazy. I mean, you can see right here, I'm just going in and tapping it down on that first half of my crease. And it was just like, that's it. I don't need to dip in again. You know, you don't have to go in and swirl your brush around and pick up a lot of shadow because it is highly, highly pigmented. So next I'm going to go into the dark purple matte in the palette. And I'm just taking that on the outer half of my crease. As you can see, what I like to do with darker shades is just kind of go in and tap it down because I knew that I was going to kind of blend out the edge of these colors with a different shade. So that's why I'm just kind of tapping it down. And plus, you don't want to really try and blend green and purple together too much because it's just going to muddy up and turn brown so you just kind of have to tap them next to each other and gently <laughs> create a union between those two colors because they're so different so that's pretty much what i'm doing here just trying to get them as even as possible in my crease so next i decided to go into this beautiful it's like a burnt orange type shade absolutely gorgeous um that shade is called, it looks like Giant Redwoods. You guys know I can't see very well, <laughs> but yeah, it is so gorgeous. And I'm just using that to blend out the edge of that purple. Wanted to use as many shades as possible here in this look. And I love how those two combine together. So next I'm going into this beautiful kind of like it's not really a lime green, but it is a lighter shade of green called the Everglades. And I'm just using that to blend out the edge of that first green shade. Not too much though. So to add a little bit of contrast, I'm going into the yellow. This is a matte yellow called Old Faithful. And I'm just using that because I know I can blend that yellow out with that orange shade and I can also use it on the green. So it kind of works perfectly to complete you know this whole lid because it blends into both of those shades nicely so this is what the lid is looking like so far i know it's a little crazy but just you know just hang in there <laughs> so i'm basically cutting my crease with some of my nyx glitter primer i want to go ahead and make sure that these shimmers pop so the first shimmer I'm going into is this beautiful, I don't know, it's kind of like, like a duochrome type situation because it looks yellow, it looks a little pink, really, really gorgeous. And I'm just tapping that on the inner portion of my lid, as you can see, just applying it with a flat brush. But yeah, it has kind of like a duochrome situation going on, which you probably can't see here. But yeah, it's kind of like yellow and pink or something like that. Next, I'm going into this beautiful blue shimmer. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. Just knocked my socks off. And I'm tapping that right next to that first shade. Very, very pretty. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So anywho, yeah, I'm just <laughs> tapping it right next to that first shimmer and just basically you know shaving out carving out the outer portion of this cut crease so now i'm just cleaning up a bit here and i decided to just go ahead with a black liquid liner i wanted a nice big bold wing for this look 
since it kind of has like a sort of a rainbow vibe going on, but not exactly, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm just creating this black wing with some of my liquid liner here. And this is what we have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my complexion and then we will move forward with this eye look. So for my lower lash line, I decided to go with purple today. So I'm using this Beauty Creations eye, eyeliner pencil in the shade Razzle Dazzle. I like these pencils. They're actually nicely pigmented. Um, I don't have to do too, too much tugging or, you know, dragging. Um, they do show up. I think I like my LA Girl ones a little bit better, but these are pretty nice also. So next I'm going to go back into that purple matte shade and just use that to kind of further smoke out my lower lash line. Since it is a little bit darker, but it's definitely sticking with that purple theme on my lower lash line. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for an inner corner pop, but I decided to go into this shade here, which is called Mammoth Cave, <laughs> Mammoth Cove maybe. Um, this writing is so small, it's kind of hard for me to read, but it looks like Mammoth Cove and I'm just using that in my inner corner. Very pretty shade, not too, too vibrant, but it is absolutely gorgeous with this look. Going in with some of my Thrive Cosmetics mascara on my lower lashes. And for my lips, I'm just going in with one of my kind of like burgundy type lip liners that I got from, I think I got these from Amazon. And I'm going in with one of my Amora's, just basic bullet lipstick. This one is actually in the shade Cup of Tea. Very, very pretty pink shade. Setting this look in place with my Morphe Setting Mist. And this is it, you guys. This is the look for today. So I really like it. I think this palette performed very, very well. I enjoyed the mattes. The shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try some more looks with it. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you on my next one. Toodles!